Hello everyone. I am going to talk to you about ways in feeding your tilapia without buying commercial feeds like floater feeds or sinker feeds. Commercial feeds cost about 800 to 1000 per sack and it is usually only 25 kilos per sack. I will not display which brand of feeds is best. I know there are many types of commercial feeds depending on your fish size and weight and age. For fingerlings, fry mash. For 3 weeks to 2 months, starter floater or sinker. For 2 months to 3 months, grower floater or sinker. For a 3 month to harvest fish is finisher floater or sinker. My setup on the other hand can consume one sack per two days. This means that within three months I am broke. What I understand about tilapia is they are a voracious eater and is not a picky eater. I have tried a lot of alternative feeds for my tilapia. Um, like corn, corn grits or pollard, rice grits or binlud. Banana trunk. Uh, that is a banana tree. Uh, that is its trunk. You have to chop it to smaller pieces to feed it the tilapia. Then there is tangkong. I don't know what's the English name of it, but that is tangkong. And duckweed. I don't have a duckweed with me here, but it is the same as an azola. And lastly, my favorite azola. Um, this is azola. Uh, small water lily there um, fingerlings will eat this part when the tilapia grows up it will eat the whole water lily or azola Now I will tell you my procedure in raising tilapia from fingerlings to adult using a sola. First thing is pond preparation. If possible, drain off your pond and dry it for a week. The purpose of this is to kill all the predator predatory fish like snakehead or halwan those fish will eat your fingerlings whole then there's catfish or pantat I am also not sure if they eat fingerlings but I think they can they can because they have large mouth then there is a climbing perch or puyo this fish eats the tails of your tilapia fingerlings after you have dried up your pond you let in the water then spread the azola plants to the surface of your pond for me I threw 20 sacks of azola into my pond then let the azola thrive for a few more days then spread the air stone connected to your aerator to your pond that is the air stone there 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 all connected to my aerator over there Up. this is where you place your fingerlings after you place your fingerlings 
Your only job is to maintain a big hole surrounding the airstone bubbles. This is where your fingerlings will start eating the azola outwards. In three, in three months at most, all the azola will be eaten by your tilapia and they will weigh four to six tilapia per kilo. If you want your tilapia to grow more, then you will have to harvest more azola from your other pan and give it to your tilapia. As for me, I maintain one pan devoid of fishes, only azola over there. I harvest azola and feed it to the tilapia over here when they grow up. And by the way, this pan has 20,000 finger, fingerlings in it. Uh, three week old tilapia. I think we can see them already. Normally a three week old tilapia would be tiny. But because of the azola, they constantly eat the azola. They grew up in this size.